Hello traders, in today's video, I am going to show you guys how to run back tests with the bot and also I'm going to show you guys the trading techniques that I've been using with this bot um, one weekend. Let's dive in. Let's do it. So what I found to, to start off with was the best strategy so far is to identify a trend, you know, either an uptrend, a downtrend or consolidation, uh, no trend ranging. If you have an uptrend, we do um, long only. If we have a downtrend, we do short only. Ranging, both. If you can do that, I think already you're gonna be doing pretty well with this bot, but no promises of course, but that's what I've been doing and my PL has been good so far. So I'm gonna show you guys actually exactly how to do that. So what I'm gonna do to determine trend is just use 24 hour price. I, I know it's not perfect, but I'm going to do it this way. Looks like XRP and Maker have been in a strong downtrend. So because of that, let's go take a look at XRP. Reason I'm looking at XRP is I'm looking for a strong trend that can allow me to trade the trend. And basically, let's say I short during a downtrend and I wanna short. I don't wanna short right now. I don't wanna short like right there at 0.57. What I would rather do is have price spike, uh, liquidate all the over leveraged shorts who are hopping at the bottom and then short when they all get liquidated and then wait for the price to come back down. An example of that, let's say that we were just playing over 20K only, meaning whenever liquidations of shorts get over 20K, we short. Well, we would have entered, um, I know this is hindsight, but this is still something that we can use in the future. We would have entered here at about 8.30 something, yeah, right at the top there, you would have shorted right above 20K. You would have shorted at about 12.33, which is here, you would have shorted right there. And the final place you would have shorted is here, which is 19.06 UTC, which is at this short-term top. So basically, it's a pretty good strategy to identify a trend and then either do long only, short only, or both, depending on the trend. I think the issue that some traders have is they always do this. Don't always do this. Identify the trend and let this find a good entry for you, okay? So here's how you backtest on the strategy if we wanna see how good it actually is or how bad it is. I'm gonna click short only because I know I'm in a downtrend. If we were in an uptrend, I would click long only, of course. I'm gonna do not too much XRP. Let's just do a 5,000. Uh, entry condition in last one minute. If there's a liquidation size of more than 20K, but I do not want any more than 200K, then I'm not interested in entering. entering. I'm not gonna to touch sentiment for now, we can always do that later. Exit conditions, I'm gonna do a five five. And also, most importantly, if in the last one minute, there's a liquidation of the other side over 100K, then I'm out. What that means is that, I'll actually make this 150K, be spicy. If there's a liquidation of over 150K worth of longs, I, I exit my short, that's all it is. In profit, hopefully. And settings, I'm just gonna put this to one. And let's go back test this. So in order to back test, I'm gonna click uh, save, which has saved all my settings. I'm then gonna click edit trade. Uh, let's go back test for the last three days. I know that the market uh, on XRP hasn't been in a downtrend the last three days, so it might not give me great results, but um, you know, no harm in, in back testing as they say. Literally no harm in back testing. So uh, in order to get back testing result, you're gonna have chart and back test result. Click back test result, go to the bottom of the page. We would have had four trades with the, with the setup, three winning trades and no losing trades because the market's been a downtrend, I guess. And profit of 462 bucks on uh, 5,000 XRP. That's the uh, trade size. So return on investment's really good actually, 14.52. So this is kind of the way that I like to do it. Um, this way. How about last six hours? Identify the trend, let liquidations uh, give you the entry. So in the last six hours, there's two trades and would have made 150 bucks in the last six hours had I run the spot. So this looks good. Now, some people might say, well, aren't you worried about the market reversing? Well, the market can always reverse and there's not much we can do about that besides having a safe stop loss. And that's just part of, of life. But typically when a trend is trending crypto, uh, more often than not, it's going to keep barreling upward or keep barreling downward if it's a downtrend. And the reason that happens is because of trap traders who are further fueling the trend to go farther, even though they want the trend to go the other direction. So for me, I found that the easiest profits, quote unquote, are not in reversal trades, but are in shorting when the price spikes up and liquidates shorts or longing when the price uh, spikes down in an uptrend and liquidates longs and I pick up. 
So a good example of that would be Bitcoin. You know, if I was to do this on Bitcoin, let me guys show you that. I don't know if this uh, chart is going to really show a lot of uh, time, but uh, oh, let's clip this to both, both only. But um, on Bitcoin right now, the way I would want to play Bitcoin probably is by doing both. I think that if I was to do Bitcoin, I would probably 5,000 Bitcoin. I'll do 0.5. Um, I would probably want to do entry conditions on Bitcoin. Anything over 500K, uh, I would want to enter. Uh, anything over, I'd say, 3 mil. No, thank you. Is that 3 mil? Yeah. Is that 3 mil? Yeah. Um, so this is how I basically play Bitcoin. And the reason I want to play Bitcoin this way is because Bitcoin hasn't been trending that much. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It's down 2%. And looks like it's floating back upward. So I don't think that it's trending too hard. So I'm actually going to do a 2.5. Oops. 2.5, 2.5, and 1.5 mil for my exit. If there's a 1.5 mil um, on the other side. Settings, I'm just going to put this as 2. And update. And there it is. So let's go back to how, how would this uh, Bitcoin strategy do in the last uh, one day. Okay. So it's trading both sides now. So it's not just going to go short. It's not just going to go long. And I would highly recommend you guys uh, use backtesting because I think that that is really going to help a lot. So it looks like this one didn't go too well. It did, definitely didn't go as well as the short only in the downtrend of XRP. Uh, looks like this, just, this one just isn't working for these settings. So mm, I don't know if I want to do this one, but at least let's, let's uh, crash my computer by doing back tests the last seven days, which is going to probably take like 75 hours. Um, I'll bet you it's, it might be negative because doing both only on Bitcoin in the last seven days, which has been trending, might be a little dodgy, really dodgy, because Bitcoin's been really not really ranging, but more just insane trend up, insane trend down or rapid trend. Um, and if you find that you want to get more picky with entries, then you're going to want to increase the liquidation size for you to enter. And then also put in parameters for sentiment. Just be more picky, basically. So if you're doing 500K on entry, do 3.5 mil. And then you're going to get more picky with that. Uh, and I think that that will, that will definitely help. In the meantime, hopefully it keeps... Uh, it's, it's still processing. I, I'm like 50% convinced that my computer is just going to explode. Because <laughs> I'm actually doing this on a Mac. But in the meantime, <clears throat> perfect segue. Let's go look at a trend that's actually been a pretty strong uptrend. So I can see comp BSV. Uh, so maybe comp or BSV seems good. Let's see. Um, I, I can do comp. So comp's been an uptrend. So long only on um, comp could be could be definitely a play. Uh, I know that comp is about it's like a few hundred. So I could probably do. Uh, let's do fifty. And in last, I'm still waiting for that back test. Let's say in last, because the market's been going up on comp, I'm going to want to do long only if I haven't already. Yeah, I have. And the back test is still running. Let's say liquidation of over uh, 25K. But of course, I'm going to want to check comp to see like what the normal liquida liquidation values have been before I, you know, start hopping in. That looks good. Exit conditions. Uh, I'm going to make this a 4.4 four and last one minute if there's a liquidation size over, let's say, just 100,000. That works. And uh, index is going to be a 3. And bot save successfully. So it looks like, yeah, it still is trying to backtest that very annoying um, Bitcoin backtest that I asked it to run. Probably might want to do this on a, on a better computer. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, do you think it's going to be a positive or a negative result? I think negative, but we'll see. Yeah, so minus 1,000 if you had done it that way. So that really shows that j just how important it is to backtest because that first strategy we had on XRP was great. And then when we look at Bitcoin here, it looks like Bitcoin didn't go as well. So either you have three options. Change your settings, change the coin you're trading, um, change the direction for things actually. Or the fourth thing is uh, just... It, it might just be a low sample size and the strategy might work anyway. It's all up to you, but particularly for me, I prefer just to identify a trend. After I identify the trend, then tell the bot to just long only or short only. Ranging markets can be a little bit tricky when you use both, 
when you use like something like that with both. But the way that I've been doing it has been doing well for my PNL. And if anyone wants proof of that, you can just PM me on Discord and I can show you whatever you want with the um, to show you the bot's profits. So that's really how I trade with the bot. Now, if you guys have any other different ways of doing this, um, if you guys don't understand the back test or if something's not working, like for example, is the view chart working? Oh uh, yeah, the view chart's like being kind of, oh, no, it's not, perfect. Um, yeah, so it looks like the market on comp has been trending upward, so I'd probably wanna enter long on a long liquidation. Now a long liquidation over what value though? Probably just over 10K. Yeah, because looking at these values, I'm actually gonna go change it. I do not like this 25. I'm gonna change that to 10, and uh, I'm gonna do this 150 at, at tops. And then in that case, I should also probably change my comp uh, to something like, let's say 50. Perfect, and that just shows you what you sometimes need to like play around with. Let's go back to comp. And here's the comp chart, yeah. So I'm only gonna enter with this there's a liquidation of 10K worth of long. Now, if I was to do this exact strategy, let's go back test this before I end the video. I'm just gonna do a simple back test that does not crash my computer, hopefully, of just past 12 hours on comp. Let's go look. So yeah, no trades would have been taken with that because we haven't gone over um, 10K, but how about two days? I think two days, we'll see. Um, no trade. So this is a really picky setup. So perhaps I might want to actually do something like 8,000, I think is more fair. Uh, and then that, yeah. And then, you know, you can just play around with this and then just keep back testing is what I'd say. Remember to back test, we hit edit. And then we'll back test for three days. We just change it down to 8K and this is a long only strategy. So this is not going to be entering uh, both and no trades. Yeah, so it looks like there just haven't been... Uh, on comp, let's go back to the chart of comp. It looks like, yeah, there just hasn't been any liquidations over 8K in the last three days, so that kind of makes sense. So with that, I could try to lower my long liquidation threshold a little bit more, but it's really up to me. Sentiment's a bit high, so I'm definitely wary of the market just crashing and just liquidating like a lot of longs and me entering at like the 137, 136 area would be great. Also might be a fib. 61.8% uh, uh, retracement. That would be actually a really nice buy if, if it liquidates a bunch of lawns really quickly um, and then, you know, does that. Let me see the updated. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, someone has to clip that. I, I kid you not. I kid you not, I did not predict. I kid you not, I did not predict that. I could just kind of tell that the market w was looking like it was about to dump and there's a lot of liquidity down here. And literally the very second I click view chart, it dumps. And we get a liquidation, and I'm not running the bot right now, but we got a liquidation of 16.8K. So had I been running this bot, which uh, let's just enable it, um, with 50 comp, let's see if it actually enters. But that's hilarious that the very second I was like, oh, price might dump to 137 and I could, I could uh, get filled and then it, dumps to 137 and do I get filled now? Is it gonna bot um, after? Is it gonna buy? Oh, we'll see. But that's that's pretty hilarious. Uh, I could not have asked for a better end to the video, uh, but it looks like right now is, is definitely where people are getting liquidated and the bot might wanna actually buy. And it looks like the bot is probably about to buy. Yeah, the bot's gonna buy for me with 50 comp. So that will be very interesting. All right, guys, so I guess I'm long comp. Hopefully it doesn't crash to zero. But with that, um, this is my strategy with looking for a, an uptrend and then trying to use liquidated longs to enter. Downtrend, I use liquidated shorts to enter. But be more picky and do not always hit both. Hit either short only or long only and then go from there.